there is to know choosing Mopos. I know that many of us here are passing through one problem or the other, one difficulties or the other, but we are all here for a purpose, for the God of choosing to grant us our blessings. I want to tell you that keep it at the back of your mind, your sorrows and problems, keep it at the back of your mind and just believe in the God of choosing. We all know him, just have faith in him and he will provide for you. Choosing, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Good day to the founder and proprietor of choosing group of schools, our daddy Jew and our mom in the Lord, the chairman board of directors, the school directors, the school, the school principals, tutorial and non-tutorial staffs, and chosen members worldwide who are viewing us right now. My name is Moto Treasure, the head guy and a representative from the Choose International Secondary School, First Act Town. President Brian Young once said, and I quote, if you have to go on a mission to preach the gospel with lightness and frivolities in your heart, looking for this or that, and to learn what is in the world, you will go and return in vain. Your, let your minds be centered on the purpose of your gospel. As Christians, we all should try to represent our Heavenly Father according to the highest standards of obedience and conduct. Keep your words, thoughts, and actions in harmony with the message of His gospel. Righteous conduct will influence your effectiveness as a missionary, a Christian, and also your personal salvation. Your conduct also affects the trust and confidence that members are chosen, non members are chosen, and other missionaries we have in you. Conduct yourself in such a manner that wherever you find yourself, the place you find yourself, the kind of people you find around you, they will always recognize you as a true representative of Christ and not a heavenly candidate. For the Bible says, He that speaketh, whose spirit is contrite, whose language is meek and edifying, the same is God if you obey my ordinances. Book of Ephesians chapter 4 verse 29 says, Let no corrupt communication proceed out of their mouths, but that which is good to the ease of edifying, that it may minister grace to the hearers. As the Bible tells us, that evil communication corrupts good manners. So, Christians, be conscious of the kind of words you proceed out of your mouth, the kind of words you say, where you say it, and when to say it, and strive for humility, dignity, simplicity in your language. Refine that dignified languages We clearly identify you as a true representative of Christ and not a heavenly candidate. Avoid slams and inappropriate casual conversations with your companions in your neighborhood and where at your friends too. Express your respect to your heavenly father by using the appropriate language of prayer. The special language of prayer varies in different forms and also in different languages. Some languages have familiar intimate words used in addressing and expressing great respect, great respect to highly ranked personnel or royalties. For instance, some Christians, when they find themselves in critical conditions, in their prayer, they begin to question God, God, why? Who are we to question God? Who are we to question our maker? Because no condition is permanent. Moreover, in conclusion, as Christians, I want to tell you, as they say, as Christians, Tongue is the most powerful part of your body. So be conscious of what you say, the kind of words that proceed out of your mouth. And also representative of choosing. Wherever you go, they will always look at your behaviors and your language. Let the words you minister not be abusive words at all, but words that will minister grace to your hearers. Moreover, the principle is generally the same. Choosing praise the Lord.